Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a T flip flop redstone switch. Now, this switch is actually probably one of the best switches in the game because what it allows you to do is make a button act like a lever. So you can press the button once to open a door and press again to close it. So let's get on to it. I have everything here that you'll need. You'll need some redstone torches, some redstone dust, a p two normal pistons, not sticky pistons, that's very important. Uh, just a basic building block and a button. So let me turn creative mode on, let's get started. Now, this is extremely compact and very simple, very cheap. You don't need to be well into the game to make it. All you have to do is get three blocks like that, break that block there, place a torch, piston there, a piston there, a torch there, a torch there, two redstone on top, and your input switch. Now with your input switch, I'm just putting a button here, but it does not have to be a button. Well, it does have to be a button or a pressure plate, sorry, it can't be a lever. But it doesn't have to be directly onto it. You can have a redstone going into it, along like that. And then a button somewhere else, so it does still work. And so let me show you how it works. What the pistons do is, so with that redstone torch there, it pistons will push the block over the redstone torch. The redstone torch will power it, and then the your output redstone will be touching the block that's being powered which will then power it. So if I put a... let me just put a piston there. I'll show you. When I push the button, the piston will lift up. When I push it again, it will go down. So that's a T flip flop switch. Um, and I'm going to build a little contraption to show you it in use, and I'll be right back once I've built it. Hmm, a strange wall with a lot of not very well hidden redstone around. Wonder if I push this button. <gasps> it's a hidden door with a chest. Yes. All right, guys. As you probably just saw there, I am a fairly shitty actor, but also I hooked up a T flip flop switch to a hidden piston door, and well, I think the two go very well together. So if you on a multiplayer server and you're trying to hide a room from someone, hook up one of these plus one of these, press a button, shabam, press it again, open. What you could also do is put a button inside here and link it up to this button so that when you push it, you go inside, you push it again, it'll close, push again, it opens, yada yada yada. That's what it looks like from the top there, in case you're curious. Quit ruining my video, friggin' animals. Die. Die. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to leave a comment if you'd like a tutorial on anything else. And don't remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.